The Power Query M language can be quite difficult, especially for beginners. You're looking at syntax that might be different from other languages. There's a lot of functions that you might not know, but once you get stuck, you need a good resource to help yourself and make sure that you get clarity on functions, syntax, etc. In this video, I will show you one of the most important resources you can use. So in the last year, I worked hard on creating a resource that helps you understand the M language. And that resource I'm going to share with you today. On my screen, you're, you can see the website powerquery.how. Remember the name, Power Query How. I'm going to show you in which ways this website can benefit you, how it works, how it's set up, so you get a better idea of this. Let's, let's have a look. There's a few elements. First, let's have a look at the navigation. So Power Query How is going to help you out with all of the M language functions, enumerations, and actually some general articles as well. But if you're getting started, let's just see what the website looks like. On the main page, you see a short description. There is an updated article section, and there is all kinds of categories for your functions. So if I, for example, want to look at the replacer functions, I can click on one of these buttons here. And I end up at a page with the two replacer functions that Power Query knows. So you find that the replacer functions are replacer, replace text, and replacer and replace value. And you can just continue clicking until you get to that article. Perfect. That's not the only way in which you can find functions. So there is main topics in the top here. So you can go to your replacer functions here, just like we just looked on the main page. But you can also look on the left hand side here. So on the left, there's all kinds of categories and functions is one of them. Now let's say you want to look at the replacer functions. The replacer functions have their own category here. Generally speaking, in the menu, you will find the overviews in the top. Then the actual functions follow after. So for instance, let's uh, navigate to the list functions. If you're not sure what you want to get, you can either scroll down and, and just have a look if any of the names resonate with the task you're doing but you can also just go to the overview. The overview, are, uh, these pages are meant as a landing page, so you can get a better understanding of which categories exist. For instance, list functions, they have the list generator functions. So these help you generate dates, date time values, durations. It's conveniently grouped together here for you to easily scan through them. Another benefit is in the overview pages, you can see what the main input is for the function. For instance, list accumulate takes a list as first input. And the output for some functions is always a specific data type. Now for uh, for a list accumulate, that can be anything. But if you, for example, have list dates, that always returns a list of date values. So this page also helps uh, in finding that. Now let's say we're, we're looking at some of the function pages. If I scroll down all the way, you actually see what the Microsoft URL is as well. Because yes, there is Microsoft documentation. And if you click on it, you actually navigate to the right pages. So why did I build this website? Well, oftentimes the Microsoft website is not very clear. First of all, it doesn't have a lot of practical examples. So some of the examples are there, but usually they don't show all the different angles a function can be used for. And at the same time, it doesn't have any code formatting and it's quite difficult to navigate. Now, one thing that I really like from this website, let's say we're looking for a function. So I'm going to look for a list and I'm going to look for all of the list functions that start with C. So there's list combine, list contains, list contains all, and you can really quickly see which are those. Now, if you go to the Microsoft website, you can also do this but it's just a lot more stuff on here, especially if you want to scroll through all of the functions. So I think that's, that's, that's one benefit that this website has. So it's nice and clean and you can quickly go through it. Also at the top of each of these pages, there is a nice breadcrumb so that if you are in the list category, you can also navigate back using the breadcrumbs up here. So that's pretty good. At the same time, you got to know that this website was built with the metadata from the Microsoft website as its base. So in principle, all of the articles are the same. However, 
in the last year, I've updated over 300 articles with unique content. So if you want to make, if you want to have a look on which of the articles are actually updated on the home page, there is a section that says updated articles. If you want to see what's new, just go here. And then if you scroll down, you can see all of the different pages that have received an update recently. For instance, I could go to the list average page and you will find that it has unique content with examples down here. And that helps at least to find the interesting pages so that you know what to focus on. Now let's have a look at something else that's nice at this website. So when you look at the formatting here, you can see that there's different colors. So this should help you understand what elements are part of the function. So you first see that with the syntax right there. But if we scroll down, you can see that text has a green color. Functions are blue. Numbers are orange. And yeah, that's, those are the most important colors. And what's nice here, each of those code boxes has a copy button. So whenever you're ready to use the code, you just press copy. and You can just copy paste it to your Excel or Power BI file. Easy as that. At the same time, if you're looking at all the brackets and you want to see where an opening or a closing bracket ends, you can hover your mouse and it will highlight both the opening and the closing parenthesis. And also for the curly brackets, that works. So that should also uh, make things easier. Now, the third thing I want to look at is references, because another really nice thing about this website is that it has a lot of references to other places. For instance, if I scroll down here, I can find which other functions are related to the current one. What does that mean? I have grouped together all of the functions which I felt are related in some way. So in this case, we're looking at the list average function, which takes the average of all the values in the list. And that basically has to do with arithmetic. Now with that, I also felt that list count, list median, list sum, all those type of functions, I feel those are very related. So you're going to find those included in here as well. At the same time, you're also going to find related articles from external websites. Now, why do I do that? It's hard to cover every angle of a function, but if somebody has written a really nice piece about an article, I'm happy to link to it. So if it's your website, that's also fine. Just let me know once that is the case. So for instance, I have a, an article here on precision. Precision is really important for certain functions. So you can click on it and it will navigate you to an article that delves into what precision does. So here, for instance, precision shows that if you add 0 0.1 for values, because of the limited precision in the calculation, you actually end up with a, a value that is not exactly 0 0.1. And that is very relevant for this specific function. So that's really cool. I also want to show you Power Query knows a lot of enumerations and enumerations are grouped here in a section enumerations. And those are values that provide instructions to a function. Now that might still sound vague. So let's have a look at an example. For instance, there is an enumeration, which is day Monday. And if I go here, the website, of course, explains what it does. So the day Monday is an enumeration that specifies a day of a week. And you might ask yourself, like, what, what would I use that for? Now, here's a couple examples. I could, for example, say date end of week. That's a function that takes a date as input and returns the end of the week date. But depending where you are and what logic you need, the end of the week might be different. So the enumeration day Monday allows you to specify what the start of the week is. Now on these pages, you find what the related enumerations are. Okay. But you also find which functions make use of that enumeration. So if we, if we want to see where we can use this, you simply scroll down here and all of the particular functions that can make use of this enumeration are nicely specified. So I could go to date week of year. I end up at the function page where again, I describe that you can use all of these. And then you can find examples that make use of that enumeration. And from here, you can also go back. So it's like from enumerations, you can go to the supported functions. 
And from functions, you can also check out the relevant enumerations. Now, if that isn't great enough, I also want this website to be a community kind of thing. So if you feel like there is an example which should be added to the website, or if there is a mistake or an idea that you have, you can go to the bottom of the website, click on contribute. And over here, you can enter your name and email and suggest what kind of idea you have. If you do that, I will consider it and see if I can update an article with your idea. And in that way, you can help make Power How even better. So is this website perfect? Not at all. There is over a thousand functions and I've only been able to update 300 so far. So up till now, there is also a lot of content identical to what Microsoft has. But is that a problem? I don't think so. If you're happy with this website, then at least all of the available functions are here. So you don't need to navigate elsewhere. Because if you would only have the 300 functions that I've updated, and you always had to navigate to other websites, I felt that would take away from your experience. So I actually hope this will help you improve this. Now, have a look at what you think of the website. There's a lot of examples on here. And if you have any thoughts to improve this, I would love to hear about them. Well, this is the video for today. I, uh, I hope to see you in the next one. And uh, if you don't want to miss any of the next ones, please subscribe to the channel and then uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs>